Okay, so before I get started, I should probably just mention this is uh, this is not going to change your ability to have Windows 10. You still have till the end of June next year to download an update to Windows 10 for free. Um, everything that I'm going to show you here can be undone um, relatively easily. Um, so let's get started. So uh, click on your start menu. Go to uh, control panel. Uninstall a program. View installed updates. And now I don't have Windows 7. This is actually Windows 7 from my desktop that I have uh, created an ISO image of and I'm running in VirtualBox. So this is not an actual machine, um, just an FYI. Um, so then you click here in the search box, type in the, the numbers that I left on the comment sections. So KB30687, eight, I think was one of them, yes. So then you uninstall that and you say, are you sure? Yeah, you say yes. And you wait. And these can all be put back later. Um, so, and, and what they are, is this is all the spyware, I call it spyware, because this is all stuff that Microsoft puts on Windows 7 and 8 to read through your documents and stuff. Do, 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 do. I should probably speed this up in the, probably during editing I'll speed it up. And here you say restart later. And you go down the list, some will be there, some will not. It's like that one's not there. And it can be upper or lowercase, it doesn't matter. So that one is there. So we're going to uninstall that one by right clicking on it and selecting uninstall. It says, are you sure you want to? Yes, we do. Some go kind of quick, some take a little while. And we're going to say restart later. And we're going to do KB. that one we just did, 249, yeah, so three, yep, I think what Microsoft's doing with Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1 is ethically immoral, and if I had any chance of getting them in court and winning, I would take them to court, because, but the end user license agreement that you uh, click agree to when you use Windows lets them do that, unfortunately. Okay, so we're going to restart later again. And this is the one that puts the icon in your system tray down here that nags you to upgrade to Windows 10. That's all this does. So removing this won't change anything other than removing that. And we're going to restart later. Now, close this out. Um, and then go back here. Uh, I suppose you could have just clicked control panel, but this works too. So go into security. Windows update. Check for updates. And again, this is uh, running in a virtual machine, so it's going to be slower than yours, but um, everything else is pretty much the same. That's also why I don't have the arrow effects going, so in case you're wondering. Just kind of helps. So here we are. So now if you view the five important updates, if you go in here, you'll see I have a .NET, which is not selected, so I will install this one because it is one that needs to be installed. But here are all the ones we uninstalled, right? So right-click on it and select Hide Update. Right-click on it, Hide Update. 
right click on it, hide update, and right click on it, and hide update. That should be all of them. Yep. And click on OK. And so now I have that one that I need to update. Um, but I'll get that later. Now, to restore these, so that's it, by the way. You're done. Now you can reboot. Your little icon down here will go away that says, nags you for Windows 10, and they won't get installed again. Now, if you later decide you want to get them back, go to Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Update, Restore Hidden Updates, and here they are. And you just check them, check the ones you want, and then click on Restore Update. And then it will restore them, and they'll get updated. And that, my friend, is all there is to it. And that should do it.